We're live at Waldo West Tippin Gymnasium. It is Clarion University Wrestling here on CUTV as the Clarion Golden Eagles get set to host the Cleveland State Vikings on Senior Day. I'm Matt Catrello. Alongside me is Josh Wagner alongside the rest of our CUTV sports crew. So glad you can be with us here for Senior Day this afternoon. And the Golden Eagles, Josh, coming off a tough 21 to 16 loss in, in which they were in there at the very end to number 26, Ohio University, yesterday. A 16 to 14 lead the Golden Eagles had late in the match until Harrison Hightower had a major decision over Michael Pavasco. And then number nine, Cody Walters, finished it off with a 5 to 2 decision over Ryan Darsh and the 174, and that propelled, propelled them to the win. Yeah, they stuck, uh, they stuck in there the whole time, Matt and it was disappointing that they lost that major decision in 165 later on because they really were doing a good job hanging with the number 26 team in the country. So that's a tough loss, but hopefully they can rebound today against a weaker Cleveland State opponent. And Clarion in the loss had four bouts, uh, won four bouts yesterday. First, uh, most notably, a major decision by Sam Sherlock at 133 with a 10-1 win over Kagan Squire. And Austin Matthews continues his sensational freshman year as he now is 18-5 on the year with a 14-8 decision at the 157 over Spartak Chino. And now we go to our wrestling spotlight for this afternoon. Josh is the other freshman sensation, Justin Arthur. Yeah, Justin Arthur's phenomenal, Matt. He uh, checks in at 149. Uh, he's a true freshman, extremely talented, obviously. Uh, and this goes all the way back to his high school days. He has a career high school record of 142 and 15 overall. He was a 2013 state champion at 145 at uh, 30 and two on the year. And he was the most valuable wrestler in the whole state of West Virginia. So that's impressive. So he's certainly been a great pickup and, and part of, as we talked about before, Josh, the top 10, number nine in the in division one recruiting class this past year for Clarion. And these guys are just only gonna get better as they as their careers come, go on. Oh yeah, I mean, you can only go up from where you're at and you know, 23 and eight is absolutely phenomenal for a, a true freshman. So it's gonna make you wonder what he's gonna be doing for years to come here for the Golden Eagles. Clarion as a team coming into today's match, eight and 12 overall and two and three in the EWL and Cleveland State comes in here at one and nine overall, 0 and four in the EWL and they have lost seven in a row. Let's go now, Josh Wagner, to some keys to the match here today. All right, well obviously the keys to every game is to get started quickly. As you saw in the Lock Haven victory uh, last week, they got out to a quick start. They won those early matches and got up, which really came in handy later on in the match because it was a close one right down to the end. And then the other ones, you got to win the marquee matchups at 149. Justin Arthur, he's got to beat Nick Montgomery at 14 and 8 because uh, Montgomery's one of the few uh, stick out players for the Vikings, so he's got to stick with them there. And uh, no major losses, as you saw, that really, really hurt Clarion against Ohio uh, yesterday. So they can't give up any major losses if they do lose. And being able to withstand from those major losses really was a, a big factor in Clarion's two game win streak against Lockhaven and George Mason last weekend. Yeah, they were able to stay away from the major decisions, like you said, and when they did lose, they were only giving up three points a uh, match, so they definitely need to continue doing that. And as I, as I mentioned at the top of the broadcast, it is senior day today. Clarion honoring Tyler Benleon, who's been the senior wrestler at 141. Nick Milano at 165, and Brandon Contreras at 197. And Contreras will get to start today at 197 over Daniel Sutherland. Nick Milano will not start today at the 165 as Michael Pavasco will get denied for Clarion. Look at some of the spotlights for these three, these three wrestlers. Tyler Benleon, the senior from Lewistown, PA, and in Indian Valley High School. He is one of the team captains, three-year starter at 141 and 149, this being the first year he's been at 141. He's a tough, hard-nosed wrestler, unique style, very good cradle series. And he's also been a pretty excellent student as well, so he's been sensational for Clary and Josh on and off the, the mat. Yeah, and a uh, NCAA D1 qualifier at 149 last season with a 20 and 16 record. So he's definitely got talent, Matt. And Brent, Brennan Contreras is the other, one of our other three seniors today at 197. Again, he will get the start. He's first year starting here this season, 2014. He dropped for, to 197 after coming in as a heavyweight. Great attitude and work ethic, says Coach Letters, and physically strong, can throw down opponents. We've seen that in a couple matches this year. So he's been, he's had an up and down year, but he's come up big for Clarion, in the cut, especially last week too. Yeah, no, he had a very, very key match against Lockhaven, which uh, pretty much 
determined that they were going to win that match. So that was definitely a key um, match for Contreras, and hopefully he can build on it here today now that he gets the nod. And finally, Nick Milano, who's another one of the veteran wrestlers here. He's been a starter for three years. Unfortunately, hasn't been starting too much this year as Michael Pavasco has been getting the nod as part of this real solid freshman class that's come in. So unfortunately, he's kind of been the low man out, but still has been there for, for, the, for, the, for the young wrestlers and helping them out and showing that veteran leadership. Yeah, and I mean, he's got, you got to understand as a team leader, you know, you got the up and coming freshmen, you need to get them acclimated to the college, you know, wrestling experience. So I'm sure there's no hard feelings there. And I'm sure he's just having a good time. I mean, playing uh, anything in college is definitely a dream. Let's go now to today's starting lineups for Clarion and Cleveland State. And we will go in order starting at the 125. For Clarion, it's gonna be Hunter Jones, six and five on the year, the freshman from New Rochelle, New York. We'll face John Martin, who's 5 and 19 on the year, also a freshman from Columbus, Ohio. At 133, it'll be Sam Sherlock for Clarion, who's 17 and 11 on the year, junior from West Mifflin, PA. And he was supposed to face Daniel King for Cleveland State, but King cannot go today, so that'll be an automatic forfeit, and that'll be a plus six for Clarion, so that's a great start for them. And then we'll have Tyler Bentley on next at 141, 10 and 15 on the year, the senior from Lewistown, PA, against Jared McKinley, 16 and 11, the sophomore from Indianapolis, Indiana. At 149, it's going to be Justin Arthur for Clarion, 23 and 8 on the year, just an impressive mark for him. The freshman from Huntington, West Virginia, against Nick Montgomery, 14 and 8 on the year, the freshman from Willboy, Ohio. At 157, it'll be Austin Matthews, 18 and 5 on the year, the freshman from Greenville, PA, against RJ Labeef, 10 and 18 on the year, the sophomore from Palm Fred, Connecticut. At 165, it'll be Michael Pavasco, 12 and 16 on the year, the freshman from Munhall, PA, against Matt Donahoe, 11 and 15 on the year, the junior from Tynesboro, Massachusetts. At 174, Ryan Darsh for Clarion at 14 and 16 on the year, the junior from Batiba, New York, against Nick Corba, 13 and 14 on the year, the freshman from Breaver Creek, Ohio. At 184, it'll be Dustin Connie for Clarion, 7 and 15 on the year, the freshman from Jefferson, PA, against Xavier Dye, 8 and 13 on the year, the sophomore from McClure, Ohio. At 197, it'll be Brandon Contreras, 5 and 13 on the year, the senior from Rochester, New York, against Corbin Boone, 12 and 10 on the year for Cleveland State, the senior from Holt, Michigan. And finally, at the heavyweight 285, it'll be Evan Daly for Clarion, 16 and 11 on the year, the freshman from Erie, PA, facing Riley Shaw for the Vikings, 16 and 11 on the year, the sophomore from Washington, Ohio. And we'll throw it now to public address announcer here at Tippett Gymnasium, DJ Pavino, head coach of the track and field team here at Clarion for the National Anthem. And that was the national anthem here from Tippett Gymnasium as Clarion gets set to take on Cleveland State for Senior Day. As we get set for the 125 between Hunter Jones and John Marnin. Some final thoughts, Josh, before we get going here. 
Uh, it seems like John Martin has a lot more uh, experience than Hunter Jones does, even though his record is not great. He has participated in 24 matches as opposed to Hunter Jones' 11, so we'll see how that experience plays out here in the first couple minutes. Hunter Jones has been on a tear lately, winning his last three matches in a row. Coming off a win by forfeit, actually the 125 at Ohio yesterday. And Clarion's going to need these early wins, Matt, so we'll see if Hunter Jones can get them on the board here early. And a good start here for Hunter Jones as he shoots straight down, and he gets the two points for the takedown on John Martin. Excellent takedown there from Hunter Jones, going after him right from the start of the match. I like it. And there's an escape there by Martin, so it's two to one. I like Hunter Jones' uh, technique in this match so far, Matt. He just went out there, more of an aggressive style to what we've seen from Hunter Jones so far, so it's good to see him out there just going and getting after right as this match has started. And a nice reversal right there, and another two points awarded to Hunter Jones. And I'll tell you what, Josh, from what we've seen the last couple of matches, and he, he's always been the first wrestler to, uh, of his weight class to shoot down, be the first guy to shoot down right away, and that's really helped him because he's been able to jump on opponents in his last three matches. Yeah, I think it also helps that he is the first overall match because, you know, you're the first guy coming off the bench and you know you're the first person to start this off so maybe he's a little sluggish to uh, get started so he takes advantage of that I believe and just gets right after it. Well, We had a good grip for a second on Martin but Martin was able to squirm away for a little bit. But Jones has come out on fire early here in the 125. Uh, jo Jones has completely dominated this match so far Matt. He's got complete control over Martin right now. Freshman out of Wyoming Seminary Prep, who had a perfect senior record of 15-0 at New Rochelle High School. I've been watching, it's pretty interesting. He hasn't gotten the uh, time advantage for all that time on top. Another escape there by John Martin, so that makes it four to two. Another shoot attempt there by Jones. Under a minute left here in the first round. See if Jones uh, continues to be aggressive here in the final 50 seconds of the first round. And now a shoot attempt by Martin to try and get back into it a little bit. They both hit the mat. That's tremendous lower body strength right there. He was on one leg and pretty much shot over Martin onto his back. That was impressive there. And that's another two points for Hunter Jones. In addition to his senior record of 15-0, Jones a two-time all-section one and three-time Lower Westchester League honors. His career record was 101 and 28 at 112, 119 and 125, where he is wrestling here now at Clarion. Impressive. And you mentioned that quickness uh, that we've seen on the mat definitely proves well as he's also had a couple track letters in high school, so that certainly has helped him, I'm sure. So just a pure athlete all the way around, Hunter Jones. That'll do it for the first round, so Hunter Jones will take a 6-2 to two lead into the second. And this is just what they need, Matt. They need to get out to that early start, you know, get that confidence, get the blood flowing. This is definitely what Clarion needs, everything going uh, so far so good for the Golden Eagles. And there's the escape by Jones. as Clarion begins their quest to get back to 500 in the EWL. Another shoot attempt there by Jones, and they head out of bounds. 
Clarion started the year 0-2 in the EWL, then got on that two-game win streak before falling to Ohio yesterday. Hunter Jones is just relentless so far in this match right now. He is not letting Martin get anything right now. He's just after him every second out there. Shoot attempt there by Martin, but Jones again does a great job to deny him, and he goes down for another two points to Hunter Jones. Perfect display there of Jones' strength over Martin. Just took him right down after that. And Jones already in striking distance to come out of here with a major decision. And that's important early on, getting those extra points to give uh, the rest of your wrestlers a little bit of a cushion later on in the match. Especially since coming up at 133, Claring will have an additional six points with the forfeit by Cleveland State since Daniel King cannot go today. So this one could get out of hand real early here if he's uh, able to get a major decision. Throw down there by Jones. Pure athleticism being displayed right now from Hunter Jones. And Jones still with plenty of time to work with. He's got about 15 seconds left here in the second round, plus the entire third round to try and get at least a major decision win, which would give Clarion at least a, an early 10-0 lead. It's been interesting, Matt. Hunter Jones has spent a lot of time on top of Martin, but there's no time advantage being given up right now. So I don't know if that's a uh, personal preference for a referee, but no time advantage so far in this match. And Mar or, uh, Jones, excuse me, has spent a lot of time on the uh, top of Martin so far. An escape point was given to Martin at the very end of that second round, now into the third. Jones carries a six point lead at 9-3. See if Jones can get to that eight points for the major decision here in the final two minutes. Jones trying to go for it again towards the far end of the mat, but John Martin able to resist him. Yeah, at this point for John Martin, it's probably damage control. He's just got to hang in there and not give up the four points and uh, pretty much just live to fight another day for Cleveland State. There it is again from Hunter Jones. Martin able to hold his ground briefly. Nice grab there from Jones, getting the uh, left leg there, Martin. Another Martin. point given, plus another two on the reversal. Martin's just been on the defense of this entire match. Jones has been all over him since the first seconds of this game. Martin trying to squirm away, but another good grip there from Hunter Jones. 30 seconds left in the 125. Jones trying to hang on for the major decision. Yeah, I don't think Martin's going to be getting up. He's got his uh, right leg all twisted up with Jones right now, as well as his left arm. Good job once again there by Jones to deny the escape, and that will do it. A major decision to start for Clarion, given by Hunter Jones with the 13 to four win finally, and Clarion with the additional six points at the 133, with Daniel King unable to go for the forfeit, makes it 10 to nothing. Wow. This one got uh, out of reach for uh, Cleveland State real quickly early on here, so we'll have to see how they respond here in the uh, 141 matchup.
And it's going to be a tough bout here for Cleveland State here today, being down to nothing as Clarion has not lost to Cleveland State since 2007. As Clarion's won the last six matches, Clarion is 26 and 14 all time versus this Viking team. And you're starting to see why. I mean, it doesn't look like Cleveland State has uh, really put up much of a fight here early on. I mean, Hunter Jens completely dominated John Martin in that 125 matchup. So here we go now with the 141, Tyler Bentley on for Clarion, and Jared McKinley for Cleveland State. Bentley on looking for a win here on Senior Day as himself, Brandon Contreras, and Nick Milano honored before the match here this afternoon at Tippin Gymnasium. So just yeah. to finish with Sam Sherlock for a second, Josh, he gets the forfeit here today, plus he had a major decision on Kagan Squire yesterday at Ohio. There you go, a much, uh, much deserved buy today after that major decision against Ohio. Bedleon finds himself uh, underneath McKinley here early on. Nothing happening so far though. As I mentioned, McKinley a 16 game winner, 16 and 11 on the year. Sophomore against the senior here. Ben Leon coming off a 5-3 loss to Noah Forador yesterday at Ohio. And a good reversal there from McKinley and that gives him a 2-0 lead. So it looks like a bit of an opposite from the last uh, 125 match. McKinley came out uh, guns a blazing on Bedleon here. And he's been in the defensive position early on. Bedleon trying to go for the escape. McKinley with other ideas though. And a great job, though, by Bedleon to get the reverse, and now he's going for the pin. Wow, what a play from Bedleon. Almost had the pin there. He's so close, Matt. Crowd on their feet here at Tippin. And there's the pin, pin from Tyler Bedleon. Wow. Talk about a reversal of a match in a few seconds. Wow. What a pin there from Bedleon. And on senior day, Tyler Benleon comes to wrestle and he pins Jared McKinley and Clarion with a commanding 16-0 lead. Wow, that was amazing. Absolutely excellent reversal there. Got him down on his back, held him there for a little bit. It seemed like McKinley was uh, maybe gonna get out of it, but he uh, did a good job, was persistent, kept driving those feet as you can see and uh, kept him right down on the mat. What a tremendous start here for Clarion. 149 now, it's Justin Arthur, who's had a dominant freshman year, 23 and eight, against Nick Montgomery. And Arthur out to the two nothing lead, looking for more. Now he's gonna try and go for another pin. This is just ridiculous. One after another here. Cleveland State's going to need to come up for air. And a three points given there to Arthur. Arthur actually coming off a 9-4 to four defeat to number 8, Taiwan Claxton at Ohio yesterday. Justin Arthur, though, he's just been sensational. We were talking about him earlier in the spotlight. Just an amazing athlete at 23 and eight this season as a true freshman. Well, Clarion faced an Ohio team with a number of nationally ranked wrestlers yesterday and considering everything, how, how it went and looking at the matchup, Clarion did a fairly good job against those guys yesterday. Yeah, I mean, they, hold their, uh, they held their own until the very end like you were talking about, Matt, so there's definitely uh, no shame in what they did yesterday. Another three points given to Justin Arthur. We've got an eight nothing game and Arthur again looking for more. 
Going for the pin. It would be the second in a row to follow Bentley on. But Mc Montgomery able to hold his own for a second or two. Another three points, though, given to Arthur. Arthur just all over Montgomery here. Montgomery, another freshman at uh, 14 and eight on the year, so not a bad record for the freshman for the Viking wrestling squad, but he cannot handle Arthur right now as he's dominated since the very uh, first seconds of this match. Plus three again for Arthur. 14 nothing lead here and it's still a first period. They'll go out of bounds there, so they'll reset. Montgomery restarting in the uh, submissive position. So he'll try and go for an escape here, but it doesn't look like Arthur's gonna let that happen. Still got a hold of that left leg of Montgomery. He's gonna go for the leg sweep, he gets it. Wow, great job there by Justin Arthur as he looks for more as he already has it. A commanding 14 point lead. Maybe the third time's a charm this time for the pin. Another two points though. And the technical ball given to Justin Arthur and the win in Clarion. Plus six for them. And they take a commanding 22 to nothing lead. That's impressive, Matt. Two back to back six point matches for Clarion. They find themselves up 22 to zero here now. Wow, after only three matches and one forfeit. I mean, and at that 149, Josh, those were battle a battle between two freshmen, but when you look at Justin Arthur, you thought that'd be a senior and a freshman going at it. No, it was ridiculous. Like I said earlier, Arthur came out there from the first seconds of the match and pretty much made it his. I mean, he's just a phenomenal athlete, and he's on a whole nother level right now. And now Austin Matthews will try and follow suit with Ben Leon and Arthur as he faces R.J. Labeef for Cleveland State, and he's out to a two-point lead. Now looks for more, and now he gets three, and it's 5 nothing. Another freshman sensation here in Austin Matthews with 18 uh, wins on the year, wrestling a 10-18 and 18 sophomore in R.J. Labeef. A little glitch in the scoreboard here. Tipping is actually 21 nothing. Clarion. Technical fall of five points. But that's why I'm, that's why we're on the we're on the air, Josh, and we're not a mathematician. Yeah, <laughs> for sure, <laughs> definitely not a math major. So we get a stalemate there, I believe. But Austin Matthews doing a good job here early on. He's already up five to one. Only surrendered that one point from the escape to R.J. Labeef of the Cleveland State Vikings. So he's doing a good job early on. We'll see what he can do here with uh, about 1.50 to go here in the first. Shoot attempt by Labeef. Trying to climb back in it. Matthews got himself in an interesting position but gets right back out of it and goes for the takedown and gets it. That makes it 7-1. Matthews in very good position to make something happen right here. Still got 120 to work with. Matthews still in dominant position as Labeef is looking to get away here. And he does. Great job by Matthews and there's the escape. Really beef, beg your pardon. So it's seven to two. Matthews went with one of four wins yesterday for Clarion at Ohio. 14 to eight decision at here at the 157 against Spartak Chino. So that's a big win for Matthews getting that against a ranked team in Ohio yesterday. So he's definitely looking to build on it today. And as we mentioned before, Josh, with Clarion facing some of the, the big boys of here in, in, in Division One, 
these young guys have hung in there. They've, they've had their matches, of course, where they had they've been defeated pretty handily. But for for the most part, against these Division One schools, they've done a pretty good job in sticking with them. Yeah, and as a freshman, I mean, if you're hanging in there with some of the top nations wrestling teams, you got to be encouraged by that. I mean, you can't just look at it and be like, "Well, I lost." You know, that's that's bad. You got to look at it from experience. I mean, you're a freshman. They still have so many more years to go. And, you know, getting this vital experience against the top dogs of the country is definitely benefiting them, I think, in matches against people like this. Six-point lead for Austin Matthews as we start the second round of the 157. Austin Matthews very much in control of this one early on. As he pretty much uh, starts up where he left off in the first period now here in the second. Austin Matthews with a career record of 184 and 17. His senior year at 152 pounds was a 2013 PIAA state champion. Was also a district and regional champion. He's in good position again for his Golden Eagles team to get some more points here. If he can get his uh, right arm free here of Labeef right in the center of the mat. It looks to me Josh Labeef's getting a little winded. Yeah, it looks like that too. He's kind of stalling down there, saving up some energy for the escape. So I don't know if that's a knock on his conditioning or if that's a strategic move in general for Labeef. But either way, he, is, uh, he has not been up since the start of the oh. second round. And once again, Josh, yet another clearing wrestler in position to at least get a major decision. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're really just playing so well so far in this match. And they, they got started early like we were talking about. And, you know, that's contagious. You know, you see one guy get out there and get a pin. You're like, all right, well, I want to get out there and get one too. So it's definitely good to get these early leads and get everybody else pumped up on the bench. Well, Clary and Aretti got out to a great 10 nothing lead. As you see, Austin Matthews try and go for the pin, but time just ran out on him on the second round. But he still gets the two-point reversal. So that will give him an 11-2 lead going into the third round. But certainly, as I mentioned before, Josh, a 10-0 start for Clarion. The six points given to Sam Sherlock on the forfeit. <laughs> and Hunter Jones all right, started the match with a major decision. But Tyler Bentley on getting the pin, especially the way that match was going. At first, it looked like it was going in Jared McKinley's favor. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you see that quick reversal by Bentley on, and all of a sudden, he gets the pin. And we've and really, the momentum has totally shifted towards Clarion's end. Yeah, I definitely think that was a huge momentum shift. That's why the cl uh, the crowd got so loud after that pin, because, you know, Bentley on was down and out for most of that first round. And he just flopped it all right there with that pin. I mean, that was just phenomenal as uh, he pretty much reversed the entire match in a matter of seconds. Labeef and Matthews still tied up on each other. Matthews looking for the major decision. That would be the second for Clarion here today. Yeah, they've uh, collected extra points in each one of their matches so far in this one. No just regular decisions. They've. Uh, Picked up a couple extra so far in every match. Labeef trying to turn over Matthews, but Matthews doing a, showing some great strength and able to withstand that. 45 left in the 157. And a great job by Austin Matthews as he remains on top. Plus two for him. That's very, very discouraging for Labeef. You can kind of see it in his body language right now. He knew he had to have that, and uh, Matthews got right out from under his... Uh, grip and now now it looks like it's all uh, all about over here for Labeef. Still may call 20 seconds left as Austin Matthews in position now maybe for a, a technical fall he leads 13 to 2 just needs four more points. And he's got a chance here we'll have to see if he goes out here real aggressive or if he just uh, 
lets it go here for the major decision. Still got 20 seconds to work with though, so that's a lot of time. Maddie's with the advantage. But an escape done and quickly right back to it was RJ Labeef trying to get a little greedy there and catch Matthews by surprise, but they run out of bounds. Yeah, fortunate they ran out of bounds there for Matthews because I don't think he saw that coming from Labeef. He's just been sitting here breathing heavy the whole day and he just goes on a dead sprint after Matthews there. And a nice takedown there by Labeef, which could be the dip. It still won't be the difference actually as that will end it. Another point given to Matthews, and it's going to be a 14-5 final. So another major, major decision for Clarion, and they will take a 25-0 lead into the 165. Very impressive start for the Golden Eagles here. They're doing everything right so far, Matt. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll have the 165 between Pavasco and Matt Donahoe. And as we head to break, here's a look at the pin again from Tyler Benleon. That's been the difference so far in this one. You're watching Clarion University Wrestling here on CUTV.